Hey, gun people. Well, this is more earning the hate from our law enforcement in blue, our thin blue line, the people who are out there who are heroes and they never do anything wrong. And this is obviously an exception because they're all so superior and kind and good and they only go after bad people and they don't harass. I don't know what the traffic stop is for. It doesn't say, but it ends pretty freaking ridiculous. Stop! Stop! You can already hear the female officer having an attitude. This woman's backing up. You can kind of see the reflection of the lights, so she does have her lights on. Okay. So obviously this woman doesn't want to be harassed by the tax collector harassing female who's irritated. I want you to notice this woman says on the radio that she drove off and almost hit her. I mean, it's just flat out in the video. This car never came close to hitting her. But by saying that she was almost hit, now you get a bunch of officers jacked up thinking they're coming in a hot call. This is very common for quota. I mean, female officers, when they scream, the sky is falling because they always get into incidents and create this massive mess that they can't handle. And then they have everyone else come rescue them. So watch this woman say, I almost got hit. Well, Cruiser 5, she just took off on me. She almost hit me. She just took off on me and almost hit me. Twelve cruiser five. She just took off on me. She almost hit me. You can tell the fear in this officer on how she has to jump out of the way. Look at the Twelve fear. Look she how she almost got on. hit. I mean, the fear and I mean, now I can shoot her because she almost hit me, right? Because I'm in fear of my life. She tried to run me over. I'm telling you, people, these freaking cops out here, it's just we the people are the enemy, and they are a freaking tyrannical invading army. Absolutely outrageous. I mean, she almost hit me. She Yay, look at me. I get to use my lights and siren. Wow, I'm cool. I almost got hit. I got to chase this violent woman who tried to run me over. I'm a big, bad policewoman. She just turned westbound on Lincoln at 15. Copy, last seen westbound on Lincoln at 15. 212, she just stopped in the middle of the roadway. We're near Murdoch's. Stopped in the middle of the road. Stopped in the middle of the roadway. She stopped in the middle of the roadway. Okay. Well, yeah, she did do that. We're near Murdoch's. She stopped because she was in the wrong lane and she's trying to turn left. No, no, she stopped in the middle of the roadway and tried to hit me again. Stopped in the middle of the roadway near Murdoch, 1518. Looks like she's pulling in the parking lot. You can tell this woman is very dangerous that's fleeing from the police officers. And this officer is seriously protecting and serving all these people because of this dangerous woman driving like a maniac, rushing, stopping in the middle of the road, giving a turn signal, turning right. Oh, this is such a huge violation of the laws of the land. And the thin blue line must enforce it. Pulling in. Cruiser 5 on the way code. Park her main till we get a cover car with her. Copy Notice the blinding speed. She's racing carelessly, endangering people's lives. The people are concerned more about the freaking cop with the lights on than anything else. Code from she still had a slow roll through the parking lot. Driving recklessly, dangerously through the parking lot. We must get law enforcement here. The thin blue line will race to protect and serve the people that pay our salary. It is also a corrections client out of Denver County and a probation client out of Douglas County. 
Okay, so this person, I guess they're calling probationers clients now in this PC world. So it appears that this woman's on probation out of some county, which means that she's, when you're on probation, you can't violate any laws. That's one of the reasons they let you out is you agree you won't violate any laws, which is impossible. You can't get up in the morning and freaking take a breath without violating some law. But anyway, they make you sign this contract that if you violate any laws, you violate your probation. For burglary? Okay, so she was on probation for burglary. 212, she's not stopping, but she's here. I'm sure her mom will be here saying she just registered in doctor school and she's about to start medical school. And Yelling out the window. Yeah, okay, they're just not stopping, but yelling out the window. Not stopping, but yelling out the window. Is there a new crime now, yelling out the window? Did I miss that one? I mean, they're passing new laws every day. I didn't know if there was a new crime yelling out your car window. Now, don't get me wrong. This woman in the car here is not the sharpest tool in the shed. However, she doesn't deserve to get the shit beat out of her by eight or ten cops. Which is coming. Now, you notice how this woman hasn't endangered anybody. This cop pretty much hasn't endangered other than running the light back there with her lights and siren on. Let's watch the thin blue line who's coming here to protect and serve people. Let's see how they endanger. Let's see how fast they're going. Yeah, that's okay. No, Nobody walking out of here. No kid running out of here is going to get run over and plowed over by this guy. Yeah, no, that's all right. Wonder how fast he's going in the parking lot. Ah, Rick, don't worry about it. Why are you always picking on the cops? They have to get this crazy, pesky citizen off the streets. She's out there, got proper registration on her car, paying taxes. We need to, we need to call all forces to control this. Okay. And we have a gun out. Rick, why is the gun out? Well, because the female officer said she tried to run her over. So cops are coming thinking that this is an attempted murder or attempted assault, uh, aggravated assault on an officer. So everybody is responding because of the way the woman put out the call that she was almost run over, which is a complete and absolute lie. Notice female officers in fear of her life. She has her gun out too. Not. Now we have three cops with guns. Well, actually, two cops. We have a female just trying not to get her hair messed up in the background here. Notice, notice she did a push off there. Did y'all see that? She pushed that mean cop because that mean cop was about to bump into her, mess up her makeup. Watch this. Don't bump into me. Don't bump into me. My makeup. Come on. Oh, so now she's standing on the other side of the car door. So she started this mess by saying this woman almost ran her over, and now she stands on the other side of the car door to be safe while this woman's getting her ass beat. And this, I mean, this is just starting. Wait till you see how many cops show up. So now she just pulls out her taser, and she's going to tase the woman because she's still pissed off that she disrespected her authority. Here comes a taser, and she tases the woman. Who has seen a taser calm a person down and make them stop resisting? I mean, unless they're running and you get the darts at a good distance and they just fall to the ground, usually a taser makes people fight more. Rick, you can't say that. that. That's a great tool, and it's on the bat belt, and it's to keep our thin blue line safe. Okay. Notice all the punches and knees and kneeling by these two male cops with the female tasing her on the ground in a parking lot because she dared to go the speed limit in a parking lot. Yeah, I know. She failed to yield. Yeah, she drove off. Big freaking deal. You follow her till she stops. 
when she gets out of the car, you tell her she's either under arrest or you write her a ticket and move on with your day. I mean, give grief. Now, all this screaming from the woman, I'm assuming, is from either the knees, the punches, the twisting, or the taser. I can't tell. Oh, we have more thin blue line. One, two more officers. County tax dollars. See, when we keep having so many cops, there's no reason for them to get along with the public because if you disagree, we'll just call in the army, our standing blue line army. And another one. Oh, we have follically challenged on this one. Could get real here. Okay, five cops now. Because this woman almost ran over a police officer. Remember, it's very dangerous. Police put their lives on the line every day. It's a very hero job. I mean, very dangerous. This woman almost got ran over. Come on, Rick. Why are you picking on him? Earning the hate. I'm wondering if she's caught up in a seatbelt and they're just ripping her arms out of socket. But, hey, she is a woman and uh, obviously she's keeping five cops at bay. Well, four cops and a female. Oh, we have more cops coming and he's putting his gloves on. Oh, it's about to get serious. Oh, and he's bald too. I'm sorry. Follically challenged too. Just be advised, we got a call from the original RP of the vehicle trespass. We're wanting a phone call referencing finding for items. Okay, what do we got? Six cops here? Six, seven cops? Just tell her to be a bit, but we'll call her. Okay, fishing 22. They need to start putting some vitamins in these freaking donuts, man. These cops are freaking weak. Five cops? Come on. Cruiser 5, taser deployed. Copy, taser deployed, 1522. Cruiser 5, open medical. Oh, they're calling for medical. I wonder what that means. I wonder if one of the officers scuffed their knuckles when they punched this woman in the face. Or if they busted this woman's face on a concrete because she tried to run over that poor female officer who was out there protecting and serving us. FBI will be raising their stats now. Officers get assaulted more and more. Just the other day, a woman was almost run over by a pesky citizen. Let me speed this up because they beat on her for freaking ever. Engine 41, medic 41, stand by in the area, map page, X35C. Oh, now we got to call the fire department. Big red, big red fire truck's going to come now and save the day with more government money. We'll have 14 firemen here along with 14 cops because this woman tried to run over this female officer. Medical's in route. I wonder who's paying for this medical. Let's spend $14,000 or $20,000 with all these cops' salary, all the fire department, all the cars, all the services we're giving this woman. Let's spend $20,000 because she didn't stop for the policeman. And the policeman said they tried to run her over. It, it is, I mean, I'm just freaking shocked. Confirming one case. Notice the other pesky citizens are just like, 
Just hide from the SS because you don't want to direct their attention. They'll come search you or throw you on the ground or say they smell marijuana or have the dog run by your car. Just avoid the SS at all costs because it will only be trouble. Notice the good compliant citizens just walking by. No problem. Look at the citizens. Walk away. Walk away. Don't get their attention. Better they beat on her than me. I will just ignore this and act like it doesn't happen. This guy just pulled out his baton. Oh, and more protecting and serving. More blue line arriving to the rescue. Because we just need more government. If we only had more government, if we could double the amount of officers here, then we would be safer. Then the government could keep us safe. Oh, another follically challenge. What is it, against the law to have hair at this department? Remember, this is at one... 75 speed, almost double speed, and they're still beating on this woman. But Rick, she deserved it because she almost tried to run that poor police officer who was out there saving and protecting us in the thin blue line. She almost ran her over. Oh, okay. I'll be out in Toronto with everybody else. Can't we play some patriotic music to show our brothers in blue out there protecting us? I mean, look at all this. Here comes another one. Another cop. Another $100,000 a year job. Not affected. This was on May 5th. Oh, maybe it wasn't on May 5th. When was this taken? The date. May 4th. May 4th. Notice the social distancing. Oh, this is 2018. Sorry. And here's the woman that started it. In the background. Walking around. Thanks, guys. She tried to kill me. Man. I'm really nervous. I was just out there protecting the server. She tried to run me over. How many cops does it take to beat up a woman? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another one walked away. Eight so far. I got to even bump it up faster, even though we're almost at double speed. We have more cops. There's a lieutenant, captain. Can we call deputy chief? Maybe the mayor will come by. Oh, we got two, three fire department. Woo! Red trucks with red shirts. Oh, four fire department. Red trucks, yeah, red shirts. We got government out the ass. Another red shirt. Another cop. Holy cow. Man, what are we going to do? We're just standing around. Now, let's find some other pesky citizen that we can harass, maybe. Maybe we can arrest one of these people for holding hands or something. Really Look here? at all this government yeah. protecting and serving people. All because this mean citizen tried to run over that poor female officer. Shit, there's a blue hair. Let's grab her. She didn't tie her bags right. She's got her meats with her vegetables in the bag. There should be a lock against that. Arrest her. Grab her. More fire department, more police, more gloves, more gas, more trucks, more justification that we just need more. Look, look at our stats, you pesky citizens. We're going to need more money next year because look how many calls we had to go on and how much service we had to provide and how busy we were. Absolutely outrageous. Are you kidding me? Now we got a bed, sheets, we got to clean, we got to desanitize. Look at all the money we're going to spend. Why? Rick, it wasn't their fault. She tried to run the officer over. 
Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> oh, they finally get her way. Wow, this woman, criminal of the year. Look at her, man. She got a bigger response than freaking Bonnie and Clyde got back in the day. They didn't have this many cops when they killed Bonnie and Clyde. Well, Rick, she was in a car, and she was a woman. She could have been Bonnie, and she was trying to get absolutely outrageous. All right, more earning the hate. Who the hell is this? A woman allegedly kicks a cop. Oh, so they charge her for kicking a cop. It started, she tried to run him over, and now they're going to charge her with kipping a... A woman faces litany of charges after she allegedly kicked a police officer in the face during a traffic stop. Yeah, probably one of the officers picked up her leg and hit himself in the head so he could say... I mean, cops just have no credibility anymore. I'm sorry, man. It's freaking ridiculous, the world we're living in. Well, in that there.